On today's episode of the Deron Messinger Show, Dylan, we have potentially bumming news, if you will. Arch Manning opting out of EA Sports College Football 25. Longhorns fans, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. It's greatly appreciated. Check us out at hornsports.com for all the latest in Texas news. Now, Dylan, yet again, this might be a little bit of a bummer, as I just alluded to 20 seconds ago. But according to Anwar Richardson of Orange Bloods, it appears that Arch Manning will be opting out, emphasis on the out, of the new EA Sports college football video game, the first rendition in 10 plus years. Dylan, what do you think about this news? The quote being from Anwar that Arch is, quote, focused on playing football on the field. What does that mean? What's your takeaway? I don't know. It feels like it does more harm to, to opt out. Like it's more of a distraction because now, Devin, we get to talk about it on our YouTube channel. Um, so appreciative of that. But yeah, I, caught me by surprise because that would be my childhood dream to be in a, you know, NCAA 25 at some point. Um, but also like, you know, I, I can't tell you. It feels like more of like a camp play to maybe just kind of get brand ambassador money in a way, increase the leverage. But if his real goal was to, you know, focus on playing football, I feel like it would just, you know, okay, I'll just send me the $600, but I'm just going to be over here throwing the football around. I could say it is somewhat ironic because, as you said, we wouldn't be talking about it if he opted in. Opting out has become more of a distraction, and I wouldn't say a big distraction, of course. People are having fun talking about it, but it's not going to change, you know, the results of the world or the economy, Dylan. But Arch Manning sure about that? might change Arch Manning's economy, though, because by opting out, yes. as Dylan mentioned, he's not going to receive the $600 that EA Sports is paying all the athletes that are going to be in this game. Of course, though, as Dylan was also mentioning, Arch, by opting out, Dylan, can be having a backdoor play at some sort of brand ambassador role, which I would say is probably doubtful just given the current climate of the situation, Dylan. But maybe next year's game, I'd assume he would be in the game. However, for now, looks like he's going to be opting out. Brand ambassadors have the potential to make more than that $600. Isaiah Bond of the Longhorns, you know, the Alabama transfer wideout, is an ambassador. Quinn Ewers is also an ambassador. Arch Manning, though, looks like we will not be able to use him in the video game. And Dylan, Dynasty users are the real loser yeah. in this situation. Are you going to be using... Texas and your dynasty now that this news has come out <laughs> no I don't think I can Devin. like why would I be able to do that I, I need the full team but can't have the full team I don't know what to tell you but yeah I mean and that's the thing he'd also be the most used backup quarterback right uh depending on the person so that's why I could see like why there's a leverage play here because that is a name that you definitely want in your game but at the end of the day if the goal is to just focus on football this doesn't feel like something you'd be concerned about and you would just kind of take the stimulus check that is the $600. And if it was just a quick play sort of game mode in this game, you wouldn't see too much of Arch, but as we were talking about, there are game modes that lead to his usage a little bit more, such as a dynasty, yeah. because as the plan is right now, it seems like as soon as Quinn Ewers is going to graduate Dylan and head to the NFL, that's Arch Manning's time to step up at UT. And we won't be able to experience that in the video game, which is a bummer because this is the first game back in so long, as we talked about. And now, Dylan, just going to be devastating. When I get the game, a part of my heart is going to be broken. I know. I know how much you care about the Dynasty game. I know. I know. But what do you guys think about Arch and EA Sports' college football game? Let us know down below. Is this a dis distraction? Excuse me. Let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always... Have a great rest of your day.